we will learn how to do thin layer chromatography for suppression of amino acid. Thin layer chromatography is a chromatographic technique in which stationary phase is formed on a suitable flat surface such as glass plate or plastic plate. Since layer is so thin, the moment layer by capillary action is rapid. As mobile phase moves along the layer, one edge to the opposite, it transfers any analyte placed on the layer at a rate determined by the distribution coefficient, Kd, that is, distance travelled by analyte present in the stationary phase to mobile phase is later determined. The analyte moment ceases when mobile phase reaches the end of the layer or when plate is removed from the mobile reservoir. The moment of analyte is expressed as a its retardation factor, that is RF, that is the ratio of a distance travelled by analyte from the origin to distance travelled by the solvent front from the origin. For performing thin layer chromatography, we will need pre-coated pre TLC plate and today we will be separating amino acid which is present in the mixture. And we have a three standard amino acid. One is threonine, another is methionine, and third one is lysine. Plate. We have labeled. We have prepared the line of origin, and we have labeled the one, two, three, and mixture. We'll start with one, and subsequently all the four samples. For loading the sample, we we'll use capillary tube. We will take an amino acid in capillary tube and we will load in plate. We will load all the four samples one by one. We have to let, once we add a drop of sample into the plate, allow them to dry till we add another spot. Now we have loaded amino acid in the TLC plate. Number one is lysine, second is methionine, third is threonine and fourth sample is mixture. Now we have loaded the sample and the spots are dry. Now we are ready to keep place the plate into the solvent system. This solvent system contains butanol, acetic acid, water in the ratio of 8 is to 2 is to 2. On the basis of affinity towards water and solvent, uh, butanol and acetic acid, amino acid will separate. And acetic acid also functions to provide humidity in the chamber. Now we are ready, samples mobile phase is running through the plate, we will remove the plate now when mobile phase is moved till, uh, till the end of the other side. Now we can remove the plate from chamber and place it in 70 degree hot air oven to get to outfit all the solvent system. Now, spot, uh, TLC plate is ready. We have sprayed the need 19. After spraying, we have kept the plate in hot air oven at, uh, at 81 degree. Now, we will calculate the RF value. RF value is the ratio of a distance travelled by spot from the line of origin to uh, distance travelled by the solvent film. We will calculate the RF value for all the spots we have detected. In mixture, we uh, standard amino acid number 1, we have 1, uh, 1 spot. And number 2, we have 1 spot. And 3, we have 1 spot. And mixture, we have 3 spots. So first, we will calculate the three, uh, RF value of all the spots. And then...
Do you know? 